April 21 Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible Acts Chapter 1 of the New Testament I wrote the former account, Theophilus, about all that Jesus began to do and teach until the day he was taken up to heaven, after he had given orders by the Holy Spirit to the apostles he had chosen. To the same apostles also, after his suffering, he presented himself alive with many convincing proofs. He was seen by them over a forty-day period, and spoke about matters concerning the kingdom of God. While he was with them, he declared, Do not leave Jerusalem, but wait there for what my father promised, which you heard about from me. For John baptized with water, but you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit, not many days from now. So when they had gathered together, they began to ask him, Lord, is this the time when you are restoring the kingdom to Israel? He told them, You are not permitted to know the times or periods that the Father has set by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the farthest parts of the earth. After he had said this, while they were watching, he was lifted up and a cloud hid from their sight. As they were still staring into the sky while he was going, suddenly two men in white clothing stood near them and said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand there looking up into the sky? This same Jesus, who had been taken up from you into heaven, will come back in the same way you saw him go into heaven. Then they returned to Jerusalem from the mountain called the Mount of Olives, which is near Jerusalem, a Sabbath day journey away. When they had entered Jerusalem, they went to the upstairs room where they were staying. Peter and John and James and Andrew, Philip and Thomas, Bartholomew and Matthew, James, son of Alphaeus, and Simon the Zealot, and Judas, son of James, were there. All these continued together in prayer with one mind, together with the women, along with Mary, the mother of Jesus, and his brothers. In those days Peter stood up among the believers, a gathering of about 120 people, and said, Brothers, the scripture had to be fulfilled that the Holy Spirit foretold through David concerning Judas, who became the guide for those who arrested Jesus. For he was counted as one of us and received a share in this ministry. Now this man Judas acquired a field with the reward of his unjust deed, and falling head first, he burst open in the middle and all his intestines gushed out. This became known to all who lived in Jerusalem, so that in their own language they called that field Hakladama, that is, field of blood. For it is written in the book of Psalms, Let his house become deserted, and let there be no one to live in it, and let another take his position of responsibility. Thus one of the men who had accompanied us during all the time the Lord Jesus associated with us, beginning from his baptism by John until the day he was taken up from us, one of these must become a witness of his resurrection together with us. So they proposed two candidates, Joseph, called Barsabbas, also called Justice, and Matthias. Then they prayed, Lord, you know the hearts of all. Show us which one of these two you have chosen to assume the task of this service and apostleship from which Judas turned aside to go to his own place. Then they cast lots for them, and the one chosen was Matthias, so he was counted with the eleven apostles. God, today I pray that whether you have sent us to Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, to the farthest parts of the earth or even to our only backyard to witness your glory. Please help provide us strength in doing so. Sometimes when you're in ministry for all the right reasons, sometimes you just get exhausted. And I would love nothing more than 24 seven to talk to people about you, God. It is what brings me true joy in my life. But we need to remember, just like you did when you were walking this earth, to take breaks, to take times to reflect, to take times to be quiet and listen to you. Please remind everyone of that. All your disciples out there doing your work right now, I do, do pray for strength for them. I do pray that you just fill them back up 
with joy and energy, enthusiasm, excitement, so they can just be a joyful reflection of you, God. I thank you very much for this ministry. I thank you for allowing me to learn so much more about your word through this ministry, and more importantly, the incredible stories I get to hear as your words touch people's lives in all the way that you need them to. Thank you, God. In your son's name I pray. Amen. <laughs>